whether it's Fox or MSNBC or CNN, you often can't tell the difference. You're flipping from one channel to another, and they're all Trump all the time. It's Trump land. I see the media as a huge kitchen table that stretches across the globe, that we all sit around and debate and discuss the most important issues of the day, war and peace, life and death, and anything less than that is a disservice to a democratic society. It is critical in an election year to hear how policies affect people on the ground, not to get the pundits but to get the people themselves. They're bringing you the pundits, and this is true on all the networks, the pundits, who know so little about so much, explaining the world to us and getting it so wrong. The media manufactures consent for war, for candidates in elections, by bringing you more, for example, of one person, like Donald Trump. He is pumped into everyone's home. He can just stay in a gold-gilded mansion in New York or one of them in Florida. The rest of the candidates trudge from one state to another. Why does he get this unfiltered uh, pipeline into everyone's brain, into your eyes, into your consciousness? It matters. The Tyndall Center did a report in 2015. They looked at the whole year. They found Donald Trump got 23 times the coverage of, say, Bernie Sanders. They found ABC World News Tonight did something like 81 minutes on Donald Trump. And I think they gave Bernie Sanders 20 seconds. Bernie Sanders is breaking every record. It's the only reason he's getting any coverage right now. I mean, the media, he is shaming the media. In March, he raised something like $44 million. Hillary Clinton raised 29 and change million dollars. $44 million. That hasn't been done before. You break every record and there's a blip in the corporate media radar screen. It just shows how astounding it would be if he got anything near the coverage of the other candidates. Could you imagine where he would be right now? In this high-tech digital age, with high-definition television, digital radio, all we get is static. That veil of distortion and lies and misrepresentations and half-truths that obscure reality. When what we need the media to give us is the dictionary definition of static. Criticism, opposition, unwanted interference. We need a media that covers power, not covers for power. We need a media that is the fourth estate, not for the state. And we need a media that covers the movements that create static and make history.